Okay, so we are going to make two different flows today for the offboarding quote unquote flow. Reason being, you cannot update a setup object and a non setup object in the same flow. What that means, we can't update like a leader and opportunity and update a user in the same flow. So I want to do both. So I'm going to walk through two. Uh, we're going to start with the subject setup object flow. And this is going to be our record triggered flow. This is going to be triggered right when someone becomes inactive. And this will be on the setup stuff. So new flow, we're going to go to record triggered flow. Uh, it's only going to be when updated because we're never going to create someone inactive and need this to run. But obviously, if you have a different use case, feel free. And my condition is simply just going to be that they are inactive. So is active is false. We're only going to run it when it meet, is updated to meet that requirement. And now I've got it. So basically, when we uncheck that active box on a user, this flow is going to run. So my use case here for the setup object, I want to remove any package licenses this user has. But you can use this same exact thing I'm about to walk through for permission sets or anything else that you want immediately removed. Um, licenses and package licenses and things like that are going to be the most important. You're probably going to want to give those to somebody else. They're typically things you're paying for. That might be a chat license. It might be a conga or a DocuSign license, third party, all that kind of good stuff. Um, we use a lot of those in my normal day to day. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through that. So first thing first, we're going to get records that are assigned to that particular user. So we're going to go ahead and get package licenses for the user. I'm going to just call them UPLs for the sake of this. Get user package licenses in preparation to remove them. Um, okay, so we're going to look for user package license. And we're going to obviously look for ones where the user ID equals our current user ID. We want to store all of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and assign a variable to this. Let's go ahead and call it our UPL variable. variable. We got to allow multiple values. There's probably going to be more than one. and we should be good to go. So now we have all of these, we basically need to figure out how to get rid of them. So we'll use a decision node to make sure that there's actually something to delete or else the flow is gonna get mad. So creating a decision, our first outcome is gonna be that it did find something to delete. So we will say UPL present. And we'll find this by just going to our variable we just created. And is not, is not null. So basically there's something in this variable, great news, we wanna delete it. If not, you can leave this. I'm very adamant about labeling both of these for troubleshooting, it makes my life easier, but you certainly don't have to. All right, so if one's present, we'll go ahead and we'll do delete. We'll go ahead and just delete the whole record. So that is um, a super basic level of what we're going to do. You could continue on to do permission sets, permission set groups, all that kind of good stuff. You'd be really surprised how many objects from the setup live in Flow. There shows you so much you can do here. And this will all run as soon as someone is deactivated. So I'm going to hit save. You can call it whatever you like, of course, add a description and you should be good to go on this one. So for part two of this, I wanna go ahead and create something that's going to get all of my records reassigned. So unfortunately we cannot use those objects in the flow we just did. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a second flow. This one will be a scheduled flow. And basically what we're gonna have it do is we're gonna say, hey, at the end of the day, go ahead and look for any records that are owned by inactive users and let's get them reassigned to someone. So you'll want to set your schedule. I will start it today, whatever time you want this to run. I recommend having something run after hours just so it's not competing with any other automation that you have, but up to you. And you can have it run daily or weekly. Um, depends on how often you guys are deactivating people. For stuff like lead and opportunity and account reassignment, if you guys do have rules that say, hey, we can just reassign it to a manager, we can reassign it to a queue, I would say to do this daily um, just so that, you know, having an inactive owner is not messing with anything else that you guys you guys have going on um 
but up to you guys. If you want to under automate a bit, you can obviously move it to a weekly situation. All right, so we're going to run this daily. Our object is still going to be the user, but since it's not being updated in this flow, we're still going to be allowed to work with what we've, we're going on. All right, we've got our user. We want to say active is false. We only want this to run on inactive users. And then we can go ahead and start telling it what we want reassigned. I'm going to walk through leads, but you guys can do opportunities. You can do account ownership. You can do, you know, if you've got a CSM or a sales rep field or whatever it is that you've got, you can do this. So let's go ahead and get any leads that are owned by getting records. We'll say get leads. And we're going to say lead. So we're going to get all leads where the owner ID equals the user that we're running it on. We want all of them. And we're just going to go ahead and let Salesforce automatically store it all. Okay. So then what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to loop around these leads and assign each of the owners. We'll loop through leads. Here's our leads we just got. And this is how we're going to run through this. So for each of these, you're going to want to set your assignment. And this is obviously going to vary a lot from use case to use case. So reassign leads. Take the current items, owner ID. And we're going to set whatever we want to set here. So you can do a lot here. Like if you have a queue, you want to just put everything in and then have managers go through and reassign them. If you have a queue that triggers a round robin tool, like a distribution engine or something like that, this is a great use case as well. Um, and you can just put that ID right in here. If you want to just reassign them to yourself so you can deal with it the next day, totally up to you. Um, in this case scenario, I'm going to go ahead and reassign it to the person's manager. The manager can get something like an integrity report daily that says, hey, here are my, you know, my direct reports that have left the business. I want to reassign their leads to my team so I can keep an eye on them. Whatever works for you guys. So I'm going to say current users manager and we will reassign them. Go ahead and use an update note to actually get that done. with our current item. And then that will loop through and finish. Of course, add additional objects if that makes sense for you. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna walk through this one. So we're gonna call this one scheduled inactive, oops, ownership. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this one just so we can do a little test on it. And let's go find our user. Okay, so here's Courtney. She's going to be the user we're going to use. Um, and then over here, I've got a list of Courtney's leads. So let's go ahead and deactivate her. I don't have any package licenses in this org because it's a dev org. Um, but it would remove any of the package licenses. So you'll see she doesn't have anything here um, because they've been removed. And in order to get this to go, we're just gonna go ahead and debug this right now, not in rollback mode. So you can see Courtney's leads get removed from her name. Go ahead and hit run. You'll see it looped around through them. And then if we pop over to Courtney's leads, you'll see that they're gone. So Andy Young was one of them. You can see that it's actually been assigned up into my UI there. It's been assigned to me. I'm listed as Courtney's manager. I mean, we all know it should be Chris Jenner, but I only get two users per org in this dev org. So you can see that that's been reassigned. So hopefully that is helpful um, and is a good starting point for things that you guys can do for offboarding. Let me know if you guys have any other creative ideas other than the setup stuff and record reassignment. Would love to add it in.